James was a powerhouse and was determined. And he'd ask anyone and everyone for help when it was called for. And of course, in return, he offered that help and support in abundance. And when it came to work, James was a very principled man. It was all about being treated properly and being treated fairly and working hard. And I know that's central to the core of the culture of Jabil, that the company that James worked with, are two key attributes, honesty and integrity. And James O'Flaherty had those in abundance. I think it's very inspirational the way in which people, not just in Donegal but all over Ireland and indeed Donegal people abroad, have all been responding and uh, being able to reveal their feelings and how their heart has been breaking. It is incomprehensible and, under, and, and so, it must be so very difficult uh, for the classmates of James uh, when people come to you and offer you uh, sympathy and so on. Uh, it's just these things are, are difficult to cope with. But what James would want, and we all knew James, James was full of devilment, wasn't he? And full of life and full of joy. And that's what he would want in you, boys and girls. He would want that joy and that life in you and to value your lives and always do well in life. Catherine was bubbly. She was full of life. She was very intelligent and she loved parties. Uh, she loved organizing parties. And uh, she was in the midst of organizing a party uh, very, and, uh, uh, just around the corner, you might say, and that's, that's what she, she was wanting to do. She was just somebody who was full of life, full of, as a glam, they call it, of your glamorous. Uh, she was a glam lady.